what I need today. I'm doing a little haul from the website wholesalebuying.com. I think this is my second haul I've done from them actually. The last one was like ages ago. I'm really happy with the items I got from them actually. I'm wearing two things right now and I've worn them lots. So I can confidently tell you that they are quite good and yeah, I'm totally happy with this stuff. If you watched my video with the steam trains and snow, uh, you would have seen me wearing the stuff that I got from wholesale buying. These are things that you could wear most of the time of the year, but they've been particularly good for the cool seasons. The first thing is this black, plain, long-sleeved, round-neck maxi dress that I have on right now. It's very long, it's fitting, it's stretchy around the middle, it's extremely versatile, it's super easy to dress up like just a belt and a necklace or a cardigan over the top or whatever and boom you're done. I've also found this really good for winter because I've been able to hide like thermal underwear underneath like a long sleeve thermal top and thermal trousers underneath and you can't tell. Material's really nice and stretchy and I can see myself getting a lot of use out of this dress like I already have. I love maxi dresses they're just so easy and so lazy. Oh my god the cat. Really though this cat is so fucking needy. Hey bubbing. And he's wet. Oh. Sit over there or something. No you're gonna sit on me. Okay. The next item is something that looks really good on top of the dress and that is this long sort of sheer cardigan thing. I really like this. I think this sort of thing is quite trendy at the moment. I should mention that this is another one of those Asian websites so the sizes do tend to run very small so I'm very happy that these things fit very well. I like that the sleeves are very long and they're long enough to go over my hands. This is a nice thing just to chuck on top of like pretty much any outfit really. It's really nice and floaty and sheer and lovely. The next item is something I was particularly thankful for during a trip to snowy Vernigaroda at the start of the year. I made a vlog of that whole trip and I filmed so much stuff I still haven't been able to put it all together. Hopefully you get to see it because it was really nice. So that item was this the jacket and yeah it's definitely faux fur it's not real and it's quite an interesting fur jacket because it's three quarter sleeves I wasn't entirely sure if it was meant to be <laughs> when I got it I'm like this is like a miniature coat but it's not it's just like it fits perfectly on me around the middle so it's like the right size but it's kind of short and it's got these three quarter sleeves but it's so warm it's so lush and fluffy and it has pockets which is great. I feel like hardly ever does women's clothing have pockets. This jacket has definitely kept me alive on every day that it's been snowing and it looks so trendy too. The next item is not hugely exciting but it's a nice staple thing. It's nice easy casual blah just going nowhere special today kind of thing and it's just this plain black top with this kind of ruching or this kind of stretchy part across the chest sort of square-ish neckline. As you can see, long sleeved, plain black top. Kind of short in the body, but that is mostly the fault of the shape of my body. I guess the sort of thing for just like a casual day, you know, pair it with some stovepipe jeans or something and you're away. Nice and casual. The last thing is in this bag. Envelope. It's an envelope, not a bag. I haven't opened this yet. Obviously, it's nail art items. It's something I've had before that I bought off eBay, but I think it was actually cheaper from the website. Yes. Nail sparks. Tiny little metal spikes that you can glue to your nails. Spark cat. He's smooching the tripod and it's like the world's worst tripod ever so it's probably gonna get taken out by his smooching. <laughs> Not bagger. Yeah. These are slightly different from the ones I bought on eBay but I like these better actually because the ones I bought on eBay had like a dent in the bottom whereas these ones are totally flat on the bottom. I haven't been able to do nail art for a while maybe you noticed that my nails look terrible. Normally I like to stick on long false nails and paint them and like glue pretty things to them. I haven't had the time nor the space nor the resources for ages. Hopefully we'll get this soon. It's not like I haven't had occasion either. I just think these tiny spikes look really cool especially glued onto black nails. If you want to get a bit creative you can actually glue these to your face as well using eyelash glue. Oh I've actually glued a little nail art thing to my face today. <laughs> it's just a tiny little skull and crossbones and it's stuck there with eyelash glue. Cool, huh? Well that's everything, so thank you very much to Wholesale Buying for some really lovely items and thank you for keeping me alive when it was really freaking cold. Yeah, I'm way too excited to get to do nail art again. I just need time and room and hey, soon I hope, so, so many fun ideas. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have yet to do so, please, Subscribe to my lovely channel and make at least two videos every week. And do let me know in the comments below if you had a favourite item at all. Honestly couldn't say which item was my favourite this time around. Because I really like this dress. I like it. It's so useful. It's so comfortable. And it looks nice with so many different 
things. I also like this cardigan. I've worn this cardigan tons. I don't know. First world problem, isn't it? Okay, well, I hope you're having a good week, and as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and we, I and this wet cat, will see you again next time. Bye! It's just a part of life.